Hello everyone, happy Saturday, if this goes up on time. Um, hi, how are you? Um, it's been a while, a very long time. Um, I've been up to lots of different stuff, so I had to choose one thing not to do, and this is one of them, but I am back. Um, who knows how long for, but I thought this was the perfect opportunity to share more. So as a heads up, obviously we all read the news. Um, I am not going to mention the C word today. We're not gonna talk about it. Um, because I just want this video to be some light relief, to be honest, that's why I'm doing it, that's why I'm dressed up like this, with nowhere to go. So the only C words I will be mentioning is craftiness, cake, creativity, comfort, care, and crumpets. So I promise we're not going to talk about it. So, with that out of the way, that little disclaimer, if you want to go pause this and make yourself a cup of tea, that would be a great idea because I am going to show you my sewing plans today and there's a lot of them. So pause this, go make yourself a cup of tea, get yourself something really bad to eat, that's naughty, just do it. And uh, let's crack on, go. So, um, <laughs> there's a lot of fabric here. Um, it's all piled up next to me. And also, so I'm in my bedroom. Um, it's currently, today is Friday, 3.30. Again, if we lose the light, I'm hunching, I'm sorry. Another thing, I don't have a um, tripod, is that better? Yeah, also, this jumpsuit is way too small for me. Um, we made this for one of our models, Kanisha. I will put this up. This is the uh, Silky Patterns Lynn, but it's been hanging in my wardrobe for ages because I was meant to take it back to the studio, and then for obvious reasons, I can't go to the studio. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna wear it, and I feel like a Tudor princess. I'm just gonna put it out there. It is squashing my boobs. This is not the right size for me because I have massive tits, but uh, I really like it. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna wear something different I feel really dressed up because this is something I've not worn before because obviously it's not mine. Anyway, so this is the Selkie Patterns Lynn. If anyone's interested, I designed it myself. I love it. It's very much inspired by the lead character in Chocolat, who I think is the epitome of my version of sexiness. You know how everyone has a version of sexiness? She is fabulous. Anyway, and a business lady, even better. So we will start with this pattern. So heads up, all the fabrics are listed down below. Every single pattern, every single fabric I could find that's still available is linked down there, all the shops I got them from. They are all, apart from one or two, from independent businesses, um, all based in London, and I'm gonna give a shout out to every single business because they really need our support right now, like my business. <laughs> so if you wanna get yourself a little jumpsuit, this will be a perfect time if you can. Thank you very much. Right, so we're gonna start with a pattern I picked up at the Village Haberdashery. So hello Annie, if you're watching. I doubt it, because you're always really, really busy. But um, this is it, so if it's not gonna focus. It is this pattern, super, super cute. Mississippi Avenue dress and top. And I just really liked it, because it reminded me of a sort of like a 1930s, 20s, relaxed sort of dress. And yeah, I love it, so I thought I'll give this a go. I've never actually sewn anything from Soho 7, but I'll let you know how I get on, and the pattern is listed below. And to make this, I have got this beautiful, um, I can't remember what this type of fabric is, I think it's a tencel. It feels amazing. Look at this, oh, look at this colour. This is also from the Village Haberdashery. So it's got this really amazing bark, uh, which they called it bark detail. You're gonna zoom? There we go. Look at that. It just reminds me of 1930s evening wear which I'm all about. Um, another side note, I got married uh, quite recently in November, it feels like five seconds ago, um, and my wedding dress was um, 1930s theme themed. Yeah, so I have a thing for the 30s. So for my 30th this year, which is in October, I really want like an Art Deco 30s party, but we shall see. Anyway, so that's plan number one. Uh, that may go to the bottom of the list because the weather isn't quite picked up yet, so I will probably make that a later date. This is the thing that's at the top of my list, which I'm really excited about. Oh, again, it's my favourite type of fabric, we all know it, it's a stretch concertine. And it's this amazing navy with blush dots. I, again, sorry, that's a little tag to myself to remind me what I want to make it with. So I'm just gonna move my computer. So this fabric is such a beautiful quality. I absolutely love it, and I really like the fact that the polka dots are a blush colour, and it's got such good stretch in it. So for this, I'm going to make a silky linen that's actually going to fit, and as you can see, it's got these amazing 
deep pockets. Um, we made them super deep so you can actually put things like phones, wallets, um, things like that in because I very rarely carry a handbag anymore, which is really bad. I just like to put things in pockets. So I made them super, super deep and it has the option of this tie and these puff sleeves, which you can have uh, long or short. So yeah, I'll put the laid plan here for you. The laid plan? That is the laid plan. The line drawing, it's not a house. Well, it is a house. It feels like you're building a house and you're designing a sewing pattern. But yes, this is the fabric I want to make in and I have a gold exposed zip for this. Mm. It's all about the details. So there's that one. Mm, very excited. So the next couple of makes are all from, well not all the makes, but the next few, are all from Tilly's new book, yay! Our girl has done us proud, she's done it again. Um, they very kindly invited me to the book launch and uh, yeah, it was amazing. It was so overwhelming, like how well she's done, it's incredible. The projects are really quick and satisfying to sew. Um, there's nothing else like this on the market. I think it's an absolute genius idea because I never have time to sew. That's why I haven't uploaded any of these for such a long time because sadly sewing just wasn't on my list of priorities for myself. Um, but I'm gonna make it happen and you know what this book actually got my sojo back completely So sorry, I'm shifting around really bad. There we go <laughs> um, Completely got me back into my sojo. I've actually already made a few things on this book But I'm gonna make another video of that as an excuse to you know put my makeup on and chat to you guys So there's so many amazing projects in this book. So you should definitely get anyway So project number one is another polka dot fabric. I just really like polka dots. This is a ponty fabric Ponty Roma Ponte Roma. Um, it's really cosy, it's very soft, and it's from my wonderful friend's shop, Semi Sunshine. Harriet, we love you, I miss you very much. Um, this is from her shop, and with that fabric, I'm going to make, I've tabbed the pattern, let me find it. Where is it? Let's find it. Aha, here we go. This. Hello. Yee, isn't it nice? Yes. Mm. So yeah, I'm gonna make that dress. I think it's absolutely perfect. It looks super, super comfortable, really, really flattering. And yes, yeah, just what I need, is it focusing? I'm probably not gonna edit this, so you're gonna enjoy all these, uh... there we go, is it? Uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll carry on. Um, yes, doesn't it look great? So I'm gonna make this, oh, it's cause there's two faces. That's why it won't <laughs> focus. I'm gonna make this dress out of that fabric and I think it will look so good. It's exact, exactly what I want in my wardrobe right now. Um, so yeah, looking really looking forward to making that. It looks really great. And it says here, cutting time, including drafting, the skirt takes 45 minutes and sewing time is two hours and 20 minutes. Um, I'm a very slow sewer. Not many people know that about me. I like to take my time and not rush. Um, so it'll probably take me more than that, but we shall see. Um, the other project I've already made from this is the dungarees. They're called, I will show you these in another video. Where is it? The Safia dungarees. Let me get the picture up for you. This one. These photos are just gorgeous. So I've made those already. I'm obsessed. Literally, absolutely obsessed. Um, as soon as I made a pair, I was like, I, I, I have to make another pair. I just, I must, I must make more. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to making another pair of those. I already have some cut out in this amazing bottle green crepe kind of fabric. When I say crepe, I think of pancakes, which are also great, but it's also fabric. And it's kind of like this color, actually. Um, I'm gonna feel like a saucy legless. This could be a saucy legless outfit. Anyway, getting sidetracked. Right, so the next plan is going to be made out of this. <laughs> I mean, come on. Look at this, you know what, I'm gonna open it. I don't really wanna open all these fabrics because I spent so long folding and categorizing everything. Um, but yes, oh no, drop the book, drop the book. Um, look at this, I'm obsessed. This fabric, it's a viscose, a viscose crepe. Let me zoom in, that blue is just, it's not coming up on camera very well. Um, but it's kind of, the best way to describe it is kind of like that 1950s blue you get on all those kids toys <laughs> which sounds ridiculous um it's like a yeah it's beautiful but i just saw it at the um stitch festival was it the stitch festival yes and uh i just loved it i had to get some and i must tell you the truth um this is not the only lot of this i have i have this which i'm going to make into the sapphire 
trousers, which I think will look so cute. Again, oh, hello babes. Purple sewing cloud, there she is. I'll put her Instagram below for you. They're these trousers. And I've actually already made a pair of these in another Sew Me Sunshine fabric, which I will show you in another video, but I am obsessed, again, obsessed, but I lengthen them because I don't really suit culotte things too much anymore. Um, so yeah, I made them longer and they're just amazing. So I can't wait to make a pair out of this fabric. And I have a really cute white tee and it's, it's a suffragette um, t-shirt. And I think that'll look really cute with it. So yeah, I just love this fabric. And I have another bolt of this because I just couldn't resist it to make, um, we have a new pattern coming out at Selkie very, very soon, hopefully. <laughs> um, we're sending it to testers probably today if Caroline checks the AO formats. Um, yeah, which is really, really exciting. I absolutely love it. So I've saved some of that fabric for that pattern. Um, as soon as it's available, of course, we will shout about it from the rooftops. But yeah, I just really like this design. It kind of reminds me of if Mary Quant and Orla Kylie had a baby and they were like, you know what, let's collaborate, make something great. This fabric just reminds me of that and the quality is so good. That's why you can't really go wrong with Harrods shop because everything she has is just such good quality. Plus she's my best friend in the whole wide world. So I'm going to be biased, aren't I? But it really is. Okay, so the next project, the final project from this baby is, oh my goodness, the photography in this is just ridiculously good. Look at this dress. I mean, come on, and the daisy and everything. Um, it's amazing. I actually wasn't going to make this, if you want me to be completely honest. Um, I wasn't that sold on this dress. Everything else I love, but you know when you buy a book, sometimes it's just a pattern that's not your style and it's nothing wrong with the pattern, it's just not not for you. But when I went to the book launch, on the rail, oh my goodness, I, I was completely sold. I was like, yes, yes, this looks so much better in real life. And then seeing it again on the book, I, I, I'm completely convinced. So, I have another fabric from Sony Sunshine <laughs> because she is the ultimate person to go to for corduroy. Now I had, some of you may remember, a Francoise dress from Tilly. I made the jumbo blue cord and I wore all the time, but then my body changed. Um, it changes all the time. I'm just going with it, but I have this to make it in. Isn't this beautiful? And it's listed below. It's really gorgeous and it's a sea foam color. I just really gravitate towards, if you can see the same blue, it's in here, like gemstone colors. I love these sort of colors. They're so soft. Oh. But yeah, I can't wait to make something like that because I want something in my wardrobe that is a bit more um, elevated but still really comfortable and really casual and really vintage. And I love layering um, blouses and stripy tops, not together, but with um, like smocky type things. I'm really looking forward to making that and I'm going to make the tab version. So there's a v-neck version and a round neck version. I'm going to make the v-neck version with the tab. This outfit is so cute. This kind of reminds me of the stuff my mum used to wear in like the 70s. So cool. Oh, I love it. I have an out, I have a shirt that's actually really similar to this. I'm just gonna rock this whole look. I'm gonna get myself a giant paper daisy. I'm gonna walk down the street with it. <laughs> I look like a flower fairy. Did any of you read those books as kids? You know, the flower fairies and they were just holding like a giant, giant flower. That's gonna be me walking down the street with a giant flower. Okay, so the next book I'm going to show you <laughs> is this one. Um, this is The Great British Sewing Be Sustainable Style, written by me <laughs> and Caroline Axelson, my best friend, co-partner, confidant, maid of honour, everything. Um, yes, we are legally bound for life, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, this book came out yesterday. And if you have a question about this book, I'm actually holding a Q&A Q &A on this channel. Um, so if you go on my Instagram account, there's a question card. You can send in your questions or DM me. So if you have any questions, DM me and I'm going to film a video on Monday. So, well, Caroline and I are going to film it, but obviously we're not going to be together. So any questions you have for Caroline or I about this book, send it in and we're going to do a Q&A session separately. So yes. Anyway, so this book, there's a few patterns in here. I've been desperate, desperate, desperate to make. Obviously when you're writing a book, you don't have as much time to sew the outfits because there's a deadline. So the first pattern from this beautiful book <laughs> I'm going to make is, oh, if you want to see inside the book, I filmed a video for my Instagram, which I also uploaded here. So if you go back onto my main channel, which is this channel, and click on that, you, I take you through the book. So here is the romper. 
This is our model Chelsea, she is beautiful. So it is an all-in-one version of the sleep set. Let me show you the line drawing. Yeah. There you go. So I'm going to make the all-in-one version, which this is a pattern I designed um, for the book, for the bee. So beautiful. So I'm going to make that in. So anyone who's been watching my channel for a while, and I mean for a while because I haven't uploaded in a really long time, will recognise this cherry fabric. I have had this for like two years. It's There's no excuse. It's been in my stash for a really long time and I really need to use it. I love it. Um, but it's not really... Well, I could wear it in the day, but you know what? I really want to make a sleep set out of it because Abby from The Crafty Pinup made the pyjamas, the Juno pyjamas, from Tilly's book in this. And I was like, perfect, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make pyjamas. So I'm gonna make the, uh, the onesie, the romper onesie, in this jersey fabric. And I think, together, it'll look so cute. And I can have a sort of like a beauty school dropout moment and have rollers in my hair and lipstick on a Sunday and just wear it. I think it will look really, really cool. So the next project, oh, we're flying through these, aren't we? We have, have been thinking about making this stuff for a really long time, but I'm just like, and the next project, the next project. Okay, the next project is, this is by far my favorite pattern in the whole wide world and the whole book, which I designed. This is the Carnaby coat. Isn't that the most beautiful photo you've ever seen? And this lilac. So I must admit, I probably shouldn't say this, but. <laughs> Um, this fabric choice was completely inspired by Louise Carmichael, if you're watching, darling. Um, yeah, I just love her style, and um, the fabric we were originally going to make in this coat was completely sold out, and I was a bit heartbroken. So we chose every single fabric um, for this book, and then um, we sent it to the production company, and they approved everything. I don't know whether I'm supposed to tell you this or not, but it's probably very obvious, because with a TV show, everything has to be approved. Same with the book, um, we don't just get to go crazy, every decision we make, we have to run by the team. Huge teamwork on this book. So yeah, we originally chose a different colour and it wasn't available, so in a snap decision, we had to ch we had to choose something else and I was like, lilac, and uh, my editor was like, yes, lilac, and I was like, lilac. So yeah, I could just see Louise wearing this coat. Um, so this coat was inspired by a 1960s coat um, and I really wanted it in the book and it has these, again, really big pockets and a massive, like collar, I mean look at that collar, she means business. So I'm going to make this coat in a bit more of a classic look because I'm like mature now and I wear classic things. Um, jokes, I've always wanted a coat like Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast at Tiffany's. However, when I wear a trench coat, I look like Inspector Gadget. I just, or I look like I'm gonna flash someone, but not in a fun way, um, just in a dodgy way. So I don't think I can pull off a Mac. I just look like an idiot you know some people can just like rock a style and for example berries I love berries but when I wear a beret I look like one of the railway children um with a red petticoat flagging down a train if you've read the book you'll understand if you haven't you'll probably be concerned about my my well-being so anyway so this is the fabric I got for it I'm going to make a classic trench coat but in the carnaby coat style I think it will look trans chic very very chic and I can wear it with all my well I was gonna I can wear it with this. No, I can wear it with like all these prints and colours and it will just go with all of my colour, colourful things because I wear a lot of colourful dresses in the spring and summer. Here it is. It is this amazing, basically exactly nail on the head, MAC colour, MAC coloured coat fabric. So this fabric is from the new Craft House Girls who have a huge, huge supply of dead stock fabrics which is great. So this is an X designer dead stock fabric and it's lined in this, whoa, I bet you weren't expecting that, this yellow fabric and it's water resistant. And I have another fabric to line it with, which is this check, which is really beautiful. In fact, this could probably be a coat as well if I wanted, but it's a little it's a bit too thin. But I think these two together look like a super classic English raincoat sort of thing. So this lining I actually picked up at a um, fabric swap event that I organised with Selkie for the Girls Network. So all the tickets that were sold for this fabric swap, all the money went to the Girls Network. I will put them, the charity, in the description of the box down below because what they do is amazing. So if you want to support a charity, go support them. They're great. So I got this at a fabric swap. So yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. It's like a classic 
sort of Prince of Wales check. Um, but yeah, I thought I could use that, so it's very chuffed with that. And I actually have some giant navy buttons to go with this. I was gonna go with tortoiseshell, but it was too, too classic. You know, you can't, I just, I need something there, just something. So I went for a large navy button, which are in the lounge, and I can't go in there because my husband, can't get over saying that my husband, is uh, working next door. So I don't want to disturb him because he has a very grown up job and he's on the phone all the time, it's very serious. Um, but yes, this is the line coat for the comedy coat, the line drawing, sorry. What's wrong with me today? The line drawing for the Carnaby coat, and I cannot wait to make that because it's literally gonna go with everything in my wardrobe. And you, there's also a collarless version. So if you like the look of the pattern and giant Zoe Deschanel collars aren't your thing, you can make it collarless. So the next and final item on the list is the maxi dress. Is it the final item on the list? What's that tab for? Oh, just to show you the variation. So this is the maxi dress. Again, another, this is another pattern I designed inspired by the bee for the book. And I love it. I just think so many of you are going to love this style, but um, basically a lot of the designs are very timeless and I wanted to design stuff for people of different body types and ages. So this is just such a classic dress. I love it. But yeah, here's the dress on the new. She looks amazing. She's so glamorous. When she put this dress on, she didn't want to take it off. She was just like flouncing around the studio. And when um, she was done for that section, she was just sat in the uh, the dressing room still wearing it. She didn't want to take it off with the hat, with the straw hat as well. <laughs> it was so great. Biggest feeling of accomplishment ever. Um, so I'm gonna make the midi version, which is here on Chelsea. It's really, really beautiful. I love, as you can tell, I love sleeves like that. I just think they're really, really flattering in a V-neck. So I have been saving this fabric for quite some time. This is a fabric I designed myself for Selkie Patterns, my company. Here it is, it's a border print with fox gloves. Oh, I love this fabric so much. So I, like I said, I've been waiting to use this for such a long time. Um, the color is called licorice, the black color in the background. And yeah, I've been waiting off to hold this because there's so many things I could have made with this but I just wanted to find the perfect pattern because it is a border print. And I just thought with the ruffles, like the bottom ruffle can be the fox gloves and the sleeves could be the fox gloves. I think that would just look really, really beautiful. And what's so special about this fabric is the fact that it's woven in the UK. So it's a British woven fabric and the flax that was used to grow the linen, flax is linen, um, was grown in Belgium. So it's a completely EU fabric, which, I'm really, really proud of, I love it. So, and it's digitally printed in the UK as well. Sadly, it's not for sale anymore. It was pre-order only, um, but who knows in the future um, what we might be able to bring back or not. But yeah, I hand painted this design myself on a massive piece of paper. So I'm going to make this into a maxi dress, which I'm really excited. And I actually have a pack of vintage um, green buttons to go down the, um, the it's not a centre bus seam, there is no centre bus seam. But um, let me show you here. Actually, this is a good picture to show you one. This is one of the instruction steps. So it's gonna focus. I'm gonna put the buttons here. And there's some amazing um, vintage uh, buttons that I'm gonna put on. And a little insider information for you. Caroline's gonna kill me for telling you this, but we soon, hopefully soon, we have all the supplies with us. We just obviously weren't able to launch Right now we have um, Vintage Haberdashery coming um, to Selkie. So if you are on the lookout, Vintage Haberdashery is coming soon. I'm really excited. It's such beautiful quality. It's like from the 1930s and 50s and 60s. Um, they just knew how to make stuff back then and it's still around. So that's great. So that's coming very, very soon. Um, so yeah, that's, that's everything. It's quite a lot, isn't it? Um, it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of stuff. But now I have a lot of time to do it. So yeah, I just don't really be watching too much TV um, in the evenings because my brain. Um, so yeah, I will pick something at a, at a time and uh, go with that. Oh, actually I have one more thing to show you. Let me show you. This is a fabric, again, I picked up at the Stitch Festival. I kind of went a bit nuts there. And uh, it is this Liberty print. Sorry, it's already cut up into a pattern and it's oh it's so beautiful I'm really sorry I can't remember for the life of me where I got it from but it was like a Liberty store 
and I got this fabric which Rose Bella, my friend, had. Um, and I just had to get it because it reminds me of her and I love it. And it's got, again, fox, fox gloves on it. I just love fox gloves. I just have a thing for fox gloves. Um, but yeah, I just love it. It's super 70s, super retro. Really, really cool. And I've cut this up into a London blouse. So a silky London. Um, but yes, I'm going to make... There you go. Also, it's very silly. And I cut the bodice with the pattern upside down. You cannot really tell, as you can see, it's not that obvious, but now I've told you, it's the only thing you're gonna see, isn't it? So this is the front, and I'm doing the long blouse version, but instead of creating a cuff for it, I'm gonna sew um, some elastic in the channel, so it's zhuzhed up, because I want it to look super, super 70s. Um, bishop sleeves for days. Uh, so yeah, that is all of my plans. I am now surrounded by fabric on my bed. Very happy. And uh, I'm going to take this jumpsuit off immediately because it is far too tight for me. And I will see you all soon. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow the link down below. And if you have a question about uh, my new book, Caroline's new book, how do you say it? Caroline I's new book, you can DM me on Instagram. All right, guys, well, enjoy the rest of your day. And if you can get some sewing done, lovely. Let me know what you're making. And I will see you all again very, very soon. And enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, see you later. Bye.